Hello, welcome back to Innovation on this fantastic snow day. I thought we would take some time and I could show you something different than what we've been doing in class. So we're gonna dive right in and go into Tinkercad. And we're gonna click on circuits and we're gonna create a new blank circuit. And up to now we've been working with a particular microcontroller called Arduino. We're doing lots of cool stuff with it and building with it, but there's other microcontrollers out there. The one I want to look at today is called a micro bit. So this is a micro bit. It's right next to the Arduino. And it has some really cool stuff on it. Let's take a look at the code for the micro bit. Right away, you'll notice something different. There are these blocks in here that says show LEDs. If you look at this screen on the left, you'll see that there's little LEDs all the way across the front of the micro bit. You can make pictures show up on there. So for example, I'm gonna hit start and see how it shows a smiley face. I can change that to all kinds of different things. I can make a heart. I can choose any one of these symbols here to draw on the screen. I can also draw my own pictures on the screen just by turning on and off these tiles. And I have the letter T. Now, suppose you wanted to show more than one thing. Well, we would use a loop maybe and go from one to the other. So let's say I'll say a T and then I'll wait a second and then I'm gonna do the letter O. Just by turning these blocks on. And then I'm going to wait a second. And then I'm going to say M. Oh, I'm off a little bit, aren't I? Let's see, do it this way. There we go. Now we got an M. And then I'll wait a second. You have to put the last wait in at the bottom so that way when it loops back up to the top, it'll wait before it shows the T again. So now when I start it, T, O, M. And it just repeats that over and over and over again. So we can get it to say all kinds of things. Could you imagine wearing that? Um, as a pin, that could be a lot of fun. It also has different buttons on it, and we can make it do different things when we press different buttons. So suppose we wanted it to show a smiley face every time we press the A button, or suppose when we pressed the B button, we wanted it to plot a bar graph of zero to there we go up to 10 and if we pressed a and b together maybe we wanted to show string hello well that's kind of cool i think it's going to write out the whole word hello for us and if we shake it, maybe we'll get it to say goodbye. So I'm going to hit start. T O M. And it's going to keep saying T O M. But now I'm going to press the A button. Oh, and there's my smiley face. Jumps right in the middle of T O M. 
I'm gonna trust my B button. And it starts to show a bar graph. I guess because I have the other ones going on. Maybe I'll stop the TOM for now. So I can see it show the other stuff. Let's just take that out of the forever loop and see how it grays out. Now we can hit start simulation. Try it again. Let's try the B button. I guess that's all it's going to show my, for my bar graph. Just one plot of graph of 0 up to 10. So I'll have to investigate that one. Let's try the A and B button. That, I think, is super cool. No matter what string I type in there, it will show me the entire string of letters for me. So I don't even have to do my own letters. If I shake it, well, to shake it, you have to go down here to this other menu because we don't actually have the micro bit on the screen. We kind of have a pretend micro bit and there's different controls that we can do here. We can click on it and it shakes it. Do you see that? And it says goodbye. We can kind of flip it upside down. We can bump it. And do all different kinds of shakes to it. We also have sensors that are built in on this. A brightness sensor. A temperature sensor. It also knows where it is in space using a compass. There are all kinds of really cool funds that we can do on this, and we can see that in the different spots. So we have our inputs, reads temperature, reads a compass heading, that could be fun. Maybe it says the compass heading when we prep, when we shake it. Let's try that. So let's turn on the compass. Let's give it a shake. Ah, see? It says 83 on the screen. 125 on the screen. That could be a whole lot of fun. Or we could set it to a button. So there's all kinds of really fun things you could do to play with this micro bit. And what's nice about it compared to the Arduino is you don't have to necessarily add in a whole bunch of other components. It has a lot of things built into it. Now, if you would like to build some things and you would like to try your own micro bit in class, you could come in in the mornings and I could let you try to program a micro bit. It wouldn't be in Tinkercad. You'd have to actually code it for real and use the code um, blocks that come with the micro bit, which I'll show you how to do. So if you'd like to stop by in the mornings and check it out, that would be great. I'm usually in my classroom right around 7.30. Uh, but don't come that early. Maybe come about 8 o'clock or so and let me know that you're going to come and we could take a look at our micro bits and try them out. Have fun playing with the micro bit at home on this snow day. I hope you do some really cool things. I would love to see what you come up with and what you experiment with. I'll see you in class. Bye-bye now.